in Moldova. Let's go! Hello, greetings to all. This is Travel Narratives and I'm Mauro. This is the first blog we are going to do on, on the channel and we are going to do it from Moldova. Well, we are in Moldova because Elena's family lives here. We are in a small town called uh, Dubasari Beki. It is 40 minutes from the capital, Kishina, and borders what is known as Transnistria. I'm sure that the internet and the over information about the war have already given you a lot of details. Well, the intention of this blog is to show the daily life here in Moldova. I don't want to talk too much about politics because obviously the war in Ukraine is still going on and people here bordered this region of Transnistria that generates a lot of stress for them. So well, they are not going to say it, but they are also very aware of uh, what will happen tomorrow. But going back to the, what the blog is about and what Moldova is, surely you have heard many times that this is the poorest country in Europe. Obviously because of their per capita income, which indicates so, but it has many other things to offer. The humbleness of these people, the few resources which a priori they seem to have, give them some characteristics that are unique. Well, first of all, it's location, right? Despite what we have said, that the, there is a lot of information now about this unknown country, Moldova is located at the eastern end of Europe. It borders Romania with the Prut River and borders Ukraine and so-called Transnistria with the Dniester River or also so-called Nistru River. Here they speak Romanian, this is the official language. Romanian is, is spoken because in the Middle Ages this principality of Moldova was from trying to protect itself from the invasions of Mongols, the Tartars, the Kievan Rus. And advancing very fast, so as not to entertain ourselves in the history, the 20th century was under the domination of the USSR. Therefore, much of the education, the culture, the way of being of the Moldovans was impregnated with this heritage with the USSR and therefore Russian is spoken also. The truth is that if you think about it, it is one of the strangest combinations, right? A Latin people, like the old Romanian people, and the Slavic people, like Russians. We meet, mix, and this is Moldova, no more or less. The history is very complex throughout all the centuries, and yes, I could say that the most outstanding character in his history is a kind of campeador for us, the Spanish, and it's Stefan Chelmare. Stefan, the great who around 1500 has stopped the Ottomans, was able to stay here for a while as a king and governor of these lands. I would like to say, well, as you can see behind me, there are not many private roads and this can generate a quick judgment with what is in Moldova or what is not. But uh, with these videos that we are going to bring, little by little, to demystify that even it may be the country with the lowest per capita income, there are still many things to show. Okay, what did I forget? Since we have only started this channel, your support in the form of subscription, like and comment will help us to be more taken into account by the algorithm. Thank you. Well, I was, as I was saying, the few resources and the humbleness of these people makes them tireless workers. They complain very little and the truth is that they are examples. They don't stop working just because uh, having all these rural gardens gives them a plus in their lives. However, you need to work hard on it. 
Those of you who have lived in the countryside have family in the countryside. Now the effort to pick up what the countryside gives, taking care of the animals, cleaning them, and they combine it with their main jobs, basically. Here in the Dubasari Beki, where I am, as I have told you, and all the villages of Moldova, the intention is to have a small garden where you can grow your tomatoes, where you can grow your onions, corn, your potatoes, and sell them. Also to consume them, or even to exchange in between with the neighbors. Many also have chickens, they have ducks, and well, everything they can... They can to have their quality of life. The truth is that the simplicity of their lives and the order in their routines also give them a meaning, right? It gives a meaning to everything they know, everything they understand. But uh, if you talk to them, you will realize they're, they're worried about the same things. The children are not here, they live abroad, they remember them, prices go up, the war continues and well, that's how they spend their days. Well, to add more curiosities, the flag of Moldova shares the same colors as the Romanian flag. Blue, yellow and red. But in the center there is a shield that has an eagle and what looks like, like a bull, a cow. After asking a bit, I have realized that this is a bison. I have found that it's a Carpathian bison which is extinct. It means, well, the, the honor, the independence for which these people has been constantly fighting against uh, many nations and powerful peoples around. Another curiosity is that in Moldova live just a bit over 2 million people. As I, as I have mentioned before, grandparents and parents talk a lot about their children who are not here. Because another two million live abroad, in Germany, Italy or Poland, the countries where they try to emigrate and care about a future to allow them to return to Moldova as often as possible. If there is one thing Moldovans are very proud of, is their wine. As you can see here, it is a wine country, but not very well known. Because it is outside the EU, and as you know, they cannot export in a way with facilities. I assure you that the quality of your wines and the surprise they can give you it's tremendous. So from here, a sincere invitation to come and try to Moldovan wine. There are also quite a few well-known places, like wine jars and wineries around the capital, Chisinau. Well, as you can see, this is the true result of Moldova. They are the young people, it's full of them. We are in a very small town and there are a lot of young people everywhere. This will be the future, of course. Moldova, in short, is a strange combination of cultures, of modesty, 
of love for the family, of care also for, for the elderly, who are sometimes forgotten in the Western countries. Tireless people, tireless people, both in working and giving love to their loved ones when they have almost nothing. Although I hope to prove it to you with the following videos that this is not like that. The Moldovan people have always been between these two rivers, vulnerable to invasions, a fairly fertile land for cultivation. And that has also contributed to the culture. There have always been powerful people around who want what the Moldovans have, but that can only be achieved by working, not just dominating. And that is also their power, that is their big secret. They know what they have to work to obtain the resources they need, and they do it as a family, and they do it remembering those who are not here. Ultimately, they live their lives to the best of their ability just like everyone else. With these short videos, I try to get closer to them and get to know them a little more.